Hey everyone, what I'd like to do today is talk about a major problem which many iPad users have, which is horrific battery standby time. I want to talk about that, talk about some things that you can do to improve your battery life, but then I want to talk about one feature which I disabled, which fixed the problem for me immediately. It was night and day. As always, I'll leave a timeline, so skip to the part of the video which is relevant to you. Feel free to jump ahead. But right now, what I'd like to do is give some context as to what's going on. So this is my iPad Pro. It's the one with the M4 chip. It came out in May 2024, so as I record this, it's about five months old. And throughout my time with this iPad Pro, I've loved it. I absolutely love this tablet. It's been amazing. There's not too many things that I can say about it that I don't like. But the one thing that I really did not like was the terrible battery standby. And just to clarify what I mean by that, what I mean is that, what am I here, 76%? If I went to bed at nighttime and I woke up in the morning, that would have dropped by 8 or 9%. And if I don't use my iPad Pro for a day, I was probably losing about 20% or so, maybe 21, 22% of battery. So if I don't use it for a few days, I was losing 20%, then 40%, then 60%. And I, I started to realize, why am I charging this all the time when I don't use it? So it was a major problem, and I looked into many things that you can do to improve it. So there's a lot of things that you can do, and a lot of it is just good practice. For example, people will say, restart your iPad Pro. So you hold the volume up button, you hold the power button, you'll see this option to power off. It is a standard turn it off and turn it back on again. It can fix some things. It is also good practice to keep your iPad up to date to ensure you have the latest features and the latest security fixes. To do this, simply open the settings area, select general and then software update and then ensure that automatic updates are enabled. A lot of people will also say, to look at your apps and then just, you know, like get rid of apps that you're not using. I mean, I don't know how much that works, if I'm honest. Personally, I think iOS handles that type of thing quite well. You also see recommendations from people to go into the settings area and just disable many notifications. I think that can help a little bit. You know, if you've got apps that are constantly, you know, checking things in the background, then if you're disabling the notifications, then obviously it's not going to lose as much battery. I've seen even extreme recommendations uh, from people saying to nuke the iPad, do a factory reset, it's the only way to fix it. But I don't think you should do that. I think that really is a last resort. The first thing you should do is go to the battery page. Now, you'll see a few different options here. Uh, you'll see battery health, that will tell you if there's any major problems there. You'll see you know, a warning there. But this is uh, an important thing to check initially just to see what's going on because it will show you over the last 24 hours and you'll see over the last 10 days how much you've been using it. And what this will do is show you all the apps that you've been using and you can show if anything's been used in the background. So check that first because it might show you something that you hadn't noticed. There might be a rogue app in there using a lot of CPU in the background without you even realizing it. But you can see that you know, most of the apps I've got, it's just the ones I'm using. You know, there's nothing in the background stealing my battery life. The one thing I did do, you can see uh, Proton VPN. I do use that whilst I'm browsing the web and different things for privacy reasons. But if I'm not going to be using this, then I'll, I'll just disable the app. I'll, I'll disconnect so that I'm not using the VPN. So things like that can help. Disconnect the VPN if you're not browsing the web, etc but this should highlight what's going on. Now, the other thing you can see here is low power mode. And you can see that this reduces background activity like downloads and mail fetch until you can fully charge your iPad. That is something that can really help. That can give you an extra couple of percent per day, I think. Um, but one thing I don't like about that mode is that, you know, it, it just, it, it dims the display and different things like that. And it, it puts the screensaver on too quickly, in my opinion. So I just find it annoying. But it is something that if you get used to it, it's a good setting. It will prolong battery life. And if you're on a long journey, it might be something to do. You see it was going off there. 
Um, you can also check your display and you know if you've got it on high brightness all the time then that's going to be a factor you're going to drain more battery there's just things like that you should be aware of which are good practice you know don't have the brightness up too high or higher than what is necessary so all of those things can help but the number one thing that helped me wasn't that and it wasn't any of the other things either i didn't notice any major improvement with all of those other suggestions maybe an extra percent or two because the issue was standby and what you have to do is go into general and then go down and see this setting background app refresh that should be linked in the battery page because this was the cause of the battery standby so what this does you can see here allow apps to refresh their content when on wi-fi in the background turning off apps may help preserve battery life that should be linked in the battery section so by default if you've not adjusted anything you've not looked in this everything will be set to on now some apps are very nice they don't do anything in the background they don't really do anything in the background they're just you know it just they have permission to do things in the background but they don't. And then, you know, there's apps like email where you should really go in and just, you know, don't sync it. If you don't, you know, don't have to constantly check your email, then just unsync it so it's not constantly checking. So you can, if you wish, go through each of these and, and disable what's allowed to refresh in the background. I went the nuclear option and did that. Now, that's not going to work for everyone. Everyone uses their tablet in a different way. If you want to get updates for email, for social media, etc., what you'll need to do is disable all of them except the ones which you want to be able to, you know, to keep checking things in the background. But by pressing that button there, I went from losing 9-10% of battery overnight to like losing 0 or 1%. The difference was incredible. I, I can't explain how much of a difference it was. It was black and white night and day pressing that button disabling the background checks just fixed my battery standby time now as i said i think that should be linked on the battery page because one of the frustrating things that i have with this report is that it doesn't really show you what is draining the app a lot in the background this to me isn't telling you the full story about what's going on with your battery it's giving you an indication as to what apps you are using, but it's not really telling you the truth as to what's happening in the background because I was seeing this one minute, 11 minutes, eight minutes. I wasn't seeing anything that was indicating that's the problematic app. You should uninstall it or you should stop using it. I didn't see that. So this report was not really telling me the full story. It was not telling me what the major problem was. So I went the nuclear option and I can tell you right now, that is going to fix a lot of your problems. But as I said, if you know, it will depend on how you use your tablet, how you use your iPad. You might find that it's stopping you use particular apps in a certain way, be it email, be it social media. You know, everyone uses their tablet in a different way. And yes, you can do those other things like enabling low power battery mode, etc. All of those things can help. They can help battery life. But as far as standby goes, that background app refresh is a game changer. So my recommendation for most people is disable that and then check through your apps and just see if any app is not working as expected. And if it's not, then you might want to enable it. And for example, you can see Amazon at the top. If you want to get notifications, you might have to switch that on. But I have that on my phone. I don't need it on my tablet. So I'm happy for everything here being disabled. So I hope you've all found this useful, guys. If you have, give it, uh, the video a thumbs up, leave a comment. And yeah, I hope you find it useful. This was something that was a game changer for me. And hopefully it is a game changer for you as well. Until next time, take care. <music>